Alright, so you've got your Chipolo and there's no sound coming out of it. Double click it, nothing. Usually what the problem is, is it contacts on the piezoelectric speaker just become either dirty or disconnected. You can usually check to see if this is a problem. You can hold it where the piezo speaker is inside, squeeze and apply as pressure and then double click. You might get a beep out of it, depending on how you go. As you can see, you get a little bit out. So the whole thing's still working. There's just something wrong with the contacts to the speaker. You're going to need some spudging tools, whatever you prefer. Um, something small to bend the contacts. I'm just going to use this small, um, fine, flat-bladed screwdriver. Some isopropyl alcohol or isopropanol as it's known in the UK and I use some cotton buds just to clean it up. So the first thing you need to do is pop open the cover as if you're gonna open the battery. So we've got here this little edge. Just twist that apart. Work around till that comes open. And gently pop that cap off. So now you can remove the battery, set those aside for later. Now the difficult part here is that this base is glued to this cover so you need to do it quite carefully to get it off without damaging it. Nonetheless if I can find something flat I'm going to use this because it's fairly fine. I can jam in there. So I'm just trying to do this and keep it in focus for you. Get that in without cracking anything, preferably. Around the edge. A bit of heat from a heat gun would probably work well too if you have one to hand. I don't have one at the moment, but just lay it on. Put it nice and cleanly so you don't break anything. Should be able to slowly work that out. And probably skip this forward to the point where I've gotten it apart. There we go, that's about it. Plastic one just to help avoid any more damage. There we go. We're in. Like I said, it is glued together, so I'll try and be careful getting this apart. Do it without breaking anything. In particular, there's a dab of glue around the hole for the key ring. It's tricky to get off. There we go. Okay, so once we get it apart, you can see here's a circuit board. And that 
white disc there is the piezoelectric speaker. That's our noise maker. And we'll just get this as a pointer. Over here we've got our main battery contact. And on this side, these two contacts here are our piezoelectric speaker contacts. And if you look closely, you'll usually see some rub marks where they've been sitting. You can see one has been touching just here and the other will be on the metal on the outside. So one makes contact with the piezo crystal and the other is on the earth on the inner outside. So this speaker is glued into the housing. You don't want to try and get it out because you'll damage it. Take your isopropyl alcohol, spray a good bit on. a good clean up. So it's, oh, there's the camera, so we'll focus on that. Quite a bit of dirt coming off. Isopropyl alcohol, just make sure it's high purity, like this one. You don't want medical grade stuff, it's only about 70% pure. You want something that leaves no residue. You can usually get it fairly cheaply, about 99.7, 99.9% pure without any issue. Let's give that a bit of a clean up. If you really want, you can even give the um, metal a little bit of a scrape just to make sure you're getting some fresh coating. And very gently, if I take this out, see with these two connectors, just bent up and you can see that one of them is actually bent down. That's probably our problem. So we can give those a little clean. Spray this on. Very pure isopropyl alcohol, won't hurt anything. Give them a little clean on top. Just nice and gently. You don't want to bend these too much. Now we can get in there. Try to focus. Uh, screwdriver. Come underneath. Just ever so gently. Turn that back up. So that, little focus, okay, they're both rising up nice and high, so when you close it up again, it'll make good contact. Like I said before, here's your um, negative contact, and that's your positive. I believe. Just make sure I've got that room the right way. Sorry, other way. Positive, negative. So now, to get this back together, all we do, drop it back in, you'll see there are, in this holder, there's four little pins. There's one, two, get the light on them, three and four. They line up with the holes in the circuit board. Should line up, no dramas. Now, this is where the super glue comes in. I buy these little single reuse tubes, usually best. That way you're not dealing. I just need to run and grab some scissors, but that way you're not dealing with um, spilling stuff everywhere and having to deal with storing them. It's usually much easier to just throw it out. Sorry, just grab my knife, cut that open with. Nice and carefully so we don't cut ourselves. Super glue, it's very fast setting. You know, classic cyanoacrylate sets with moisture, so 
Try and avoid getting it on your skin. It's a real pain if you call your fingers together. So, just like it was when it came off, you really need almost none of this. It's just hold it together. So I think I might actually put the glue on this piece. We'll tap around the side there. Really, I want to be able to get it open again, just in case I ever need to. So, I reckon that'll do me. As you can see, it's just the tiniest little amount of glue. Keep it nice and tidy. Cover it all up. Press that back down. Okay, should be all sealed up. Drop our battery back in. Put our cover back on. As you can see, wow, I did do a small amount of damage to the housing. Opening it up, not too bad. Should now. Works perfectly. That's it. Sorted. Ten minute job.